well. The impulse is loving the cold weather, it's running smooth. But yeah, it's still on tune, so uh, it's not gonna be perfect until uh, I put a computer in it. There's got too many mods for, uh, for the ECU, so everything's changed, the cams are changed, the cam timing is changed, the turbo is not the same, the exhaust is completely redone. Uh, there's uh, there's nothing, uh, there's not much left from the original uh, original uh, internals, so. But yeah, she's running good. She's running rich, as you can see, because uh, she's not running in closed loop. She's only in open loop because the, uh, there's no uh, O2 sensor right now. So, uh, well, there's one, but doesn't say anything. So, it's just rich, richen up the, uh, the mixture. So, that's why there's a lot of carbon coming out of the exhaust. There's a slight smell, kind of like a, uh, a clutch smell or a brake pad smell but it's not always there and I just smelt it so I don't know what it is we'll figure it out when whatever it is uh, finally fails but <laughs> I want to take it out for a drive but yeah it's not really the, uh, the right tires for that but the main reason is uh, it's not cloud here and I don't want to break my bumper pushing a pushing all that off so uh, yeah I would have to uh, shovel all, all that out or uh, take the snow door my trailer is looking pretty sad because uh, yeah it's full of junk and uh, full of snow and it's got one flat tire right there in the middle yeah one over there so uh, yeah but pretty happy with this one just have to check the temperature, temperature is still fine, of course there's a huge radiator, all aluminium, so uh, even running like that, no fan, it's uh, zero degree right now, it's not gonna be overheat, it's, there's so much passive cooling, um, I'm not worried about it, it needs to be like 20 degrees for it to overheat, just uh, running like that, so, and it's running rich, so uh, it has a cooling effect as well. There's only a few spots to weld up, uh, which are finishing up the rocker panel on the driver's side and patching up a few holes in the floor, and then it just it just paint. I'm just gonna paint it, remove those things. That was a aluminium thing. Maybe they were they were cool back in the day, but <laughs> they sure aren't uh, right now. So I have to remove that, patch the holes, and uh, yeah, just uh, keep doing the, the normal body work, which is just bunch of uh, build up primer, sanding and all that stuff, replace the bumper. I'm gonna use this hood, this uh, two-wheel drive non-turbo hood because my intercooler is not there anymore as you saw in other videos. So uh, that'll be that. And uh, yeah, she's purring happily. Still on the uh, temporary wheels because my uh, my BBS, they, uh, there's one with a crack. So I use those one just to uh, have wheels underneath the rubber is good on these tires so I mean it's not I'm not driving it so just fine there's temporary wheels because I find them pretty damn hardly so <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out why uh, where that smell comes from but it's not a uh, oil burning smell it's really a, like clutch material I don't know if my clutch too tight but uh, I don't think so. It's a, as you can see, it's not. This doesn't have any tension. This goes here, of course. So yeah, this, this radiator, yeah, it's doing a hell of a job cooling this car. So I came out here today because I uh, needed to uh, fill up the radiator with a uh, stronger coolant. Of my truck there because uh, uh, yeah I don't think it would uh, support uh, next week next week is uh, expected to be uh, around the minus 20 Celsius so uh, yeah figured uh, might as well be safe and safer and sorry yeah there's a bit too much tension tension is a little tight on the, on the belt and I'm not sure about that Hitler here. I don't know. 
It's all new, it's all new, but it's, it's been years, at least 10 years since it's been rebuilt, so. So I just expect things to fail. All right, that's it. Yeah. I just came out here to uh, fill the coolant with a stronger, stronger mix. And uh, at least I uh, clean up the uh, the disc because I don't want them to be, uh, be damaged from lack of use and start rusting. Everything rusts really quick here. It gets really humid and it's cold. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna close that up and uh, park it, lock it, and uh, get on with the day. That's it. Yeah, I need to move it a little bit to the right, so I'm gonna do that. That's where she sits for uh, yet another week until I can get to it and uh, finish it off. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll get to it uh, before uh, before uh, spring and then uh, I can enjoy it because it's been a uh, Quite a few years since I've driven one on a uh, daily basis and uh, I miss it, so yeah, gonna have to uh, get it done and uh, go on to our next project. Talk to you later guys.